I now pass the floor to the NGO committee, the distinguished delegate of the NGO committee. You have the floor. Distinguished President, I am Carlo Tanalda of the International Federation for Family Development, and I represent today the NGO committee of UNICEF, a New York-based coalition of non-governmental organizations that advocates for the promotion and protection of children's rights in partnership with UNICEF. It is always an enriching opportunity to address the executive board and fulfill our mandate to assist you as a group of transnational civil societies organizations. On behalf of its members and organizations, I would like to offer you recommendations for the ongoing implementation of the strategic plan for 2022 to 2025. We are aware and appreciate all the progress made regarding the strategic plan and the innovative perspective of the areas of change. We are sure that they will concur with UNICEF objectives and align with the sustainable development goals. In this regard, our members' recommendations seek to contribute to the implementation of the strategic plan and support perspective on the areas of change. Maintain the commitment and emphasis on promoting high quality early childhood development and education. Continue to promote programs and policies that support parents, strengthen parent-child relationships and optimize children's health, including mental health, compromised by loss of family, conflict and environmental degradation. Strengthen educational support for learning losses incurred during the COVID-19 pandemic with a special attention to those with less access to digital learning. Following of the Transformation Educa Education Summit, analyze the advance in the field of education so as to sustain these efforts and counteract the setbacks that have occurred in previous years. Increase investment in digital infrastructure and expand its development in all countries to streamline operations so that no one is left behind. Include the voices of children in designing and implementing international efforts to actualize the rights of children worldwide. The strategic plan for 2022 to 2025 represents an ambitious collaborative project that seeks change. As a coalition, we are ready to fulfill our responsibility to help achieve the objectives in the strategic plan, reaching all children and remembering that children are the key to building a new world. We look forward to enriching the conversation for the summit of the future to be celebrated in 2024. Thank you, Madam President. I thank the NGO committee for its statement. And I now pass the floor to the distinguished delegate of the International Federation for Family Development. You have the floor. Distinguished President, the International Federation for Family Development is a non-governmental organization present in 70 countries on all continents. And our main activity is focused on parenting support with skill building programs for parents as the first layer of protection and support of children. I take the opportunity of this first regular session to share some recommendations on the implementation of the strategic plan from 2022 to 2025, and how to reflect the commitment and collaboration with civil society organizations contained in the areas of change. We are aware and appreciate that parents are being considered as a key tool in achieving the plan goals area, and as one goal area itself dedicated to family-friendly policies and parenting support. For this reason, we would like to share some recommendations from our experience in dealing with parents worldwide that can contribute to the better achievement of the goals contained in the strategic plan from 2022 to 2025. Increase parenting support programs to expand the promotion of positive parenting practices improve mental health and strengthen the parent-child relationships. Continue to support caregivers by preparing policies that address family risk related to children's costs and may prevent parents from providing their children with the best possible care. Emphasis on strengthening the system and structures that are in place to protect children and support families 
by upholding children's rights and child safety, as well as preventing and addressing child abuse, neglect and exploitation. Promote family-friendly policies that advocate parental leave, affordable childcare, and other family-friendly policies. With the strategic plan from 2022 to 2025, UNICEF strives to give children around the world a brighter future by putting family needs first and investing in children's welfare. We are ready to assume our responsibility to help achieve the goal in the strategic plan and contribute to creating a better world for children. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you very much. To the three different NGOs, I just really would like to um, thank you all for your, for your comments. Uh, you know, there's some incredible work being done in this space. We couldn't do what we do without the support of NGOs around the world. So. Um, and the partnership with NGOs and doing that with respect to children's rights and raising children's voices and uh, thinking about how to support parents, all of that is, is work that we're interested in and very committed to. So we are grateful for the work that you're doing and very much appreciate your comments here today. So thank you so much for that.